Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Mother 3. You're here with Randall Lefebvre, otherwise known as Drax Craven, when this guy is... Is he looking at Kumator or Duster? Aren't you Lucky, the bass player for, DC, for the DCMC? Why, yes he is. Sweet, Lucky is back! That's incredible, the, the, that incredible bass line is finally back! Let's go, Mr. Lucky, let's go! Oh god. We're just getting good dragged along, aren't we? Hurry, hurry! Hey, Mr. Mole. What in the world am I doing here? I'm sorry for bothering you. DCMC have been incredible since their Tidiboo days. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that things are going well, still. It's just not the same. Not to say that I want to make it the same. Oh, God! Hold it, hold it! Oops, I tried to stop you out of instinct the instant I saw your face. You're not in danger this time, though. So, are you here to see the concert? I'm sure it's going to be great. Thanks, man. But I'm, I'm, I'm quite fine. Thank you. The man next to me I'm holding hands with. He's still with me after all this time. I guess there's no question that he likes me, huh? If you were to suddenly kiss me, I'm so nervous. Uh, yep. Who'd have thought? People are starting to say that the bassist has come back. Or not. Or something, I think. But if it's true, then this is going to be the greatest night ever. I don't know why, but you guys really get on my nerves. I have the in intense desire to arrest you for some reason. I'll ignore it, though. I love the boss's sense of, yeah, I'm great and strong and manly, but the DCMC is my life. Being put in charge of the concert security means we get to enjoy the show, too. How's it going, Pork Trooper? Something smells dog-like and kid-like. Oh, it's you guys. Don't worry, I'm not going to do nothing. Let's just enjoy the concert together as fellow DCMC fans. Well, I'm glad we could be united by our by our choice of music. That's the power. That's the power of music. Thank you, Terry Crews. <gasps> Lucky. Long time no see, you bum. Long time no see. We've been having some pretty okay concerts on our own since you left, but with you here, it's gonna be like, wow. Lucky, I missed you so much. How you been? Lucky, it's good to see you again. All living things in these islands have been gathered here in New Pork City. A great undefiable power has prepared a festival for the end of life. We can see through this porky guy's sallow brain plans. They're like nothing. Why is that you ask? Because we're so drunk on our music that he can't fool us with his nonsense crap. I don't know who this porky guy is, but with all five DCMC members back together, nothing can scare us. Well, if I think about it really hard, maybe I can think of something that could scare us, but nah, nothing could scare us now. Hey, Lucky, let's forget our worries and just enjoy the music like the old days. Ah! Duster, you gotta put on the wig. We even have your afro wig all ready to go. You gotta put on the wig, dude. Oh, oh man, I get to control Duster just for this scene. He's smiling nostalgically. Spring back memory of Club's Titty Boo. <laughs> it's what they had me do all the time, as I recall. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely lost my knack for that. We had your bass ballast to a shine. What song will it be? Hey, Lucky. I want to hear your bass playing, too. Let's hear it. Alright, let's jam. No, put on the wig. An afro wig. Put it on. I can't. I can't not. I'm compelled. By the power of music. <laughs> <laughs> now put on your suit. We gotta jam. Couple warm-ups, gotta get in the groove. Oh, even Dr. Andonuts is here. And the item guy! Nice to see you, item guy. Take a break. Take a load off. Everyone's gotta relax sometimes. A little pre-concert noodling. Alright, everyone. This may be the last time you'll ever get to hear us play. And this might also be the last time we ever get to perform. To all you wonderful music lovers who've gathered here on this special day, you're our greatest happiness of all. 
Ton Nagosa. We're gonna rock until you drop. No. We're gonna rock until everyone drops. We're gonna do this thing non-stop. So let's kick it. You might notice this isn't King P's theme, it's Tazmili's theme. This isn't Porky City anymore. We've taken it. Don Nagosa. Thanks, everyone. Let's move right on to the next song. No time for a break. What a party pooper. Looks like someone stopped our concert by force. Attention, all good all goody two shoes inside the Empire Porky building. The final game has begun. Please gather up what puny wisdom and pathetic courage you have and come to the one hundredth floor. However, there's no guarantee the elevator will work how you want it to. <laughs> well, I'll be waiting for you on the 100th floor. Why do I get this distinct impression? That this is going to be like the department store spook situation. Concerts got stopped, but we ain't glum. We got luck on our side. We've always had dumb luck on our side. Don't Nagosa. You think the concert might not have been stopped had we played Porky's Lullaby song or something instead? Lucas, was it? We leave Lucky in your hands. Wait, I mean, Duster. I forget he's not actually Lucky. <laughs> You're the only basis the DCMC can ever have. Without you, or without a base. Ugh. What a lame attempt at a blackout this is. Can you see my nose hair? Uh, yeah. I'm worrying about it. Is that weird? Is it funny? Is it is it okay? Oh, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way. All these kids and dogs and such, quit loitering around, all of you. Oh, fine. Hey, Frog. Yeah, man. Can I get a save? Thanks, Frog. Supposedly, some guy snuck into this building to take on Master Porky. I wonder who that was. It'd be funny if it was you guys, right? Oh, the pig masks. Their incompetence is their greatest weakness. One that I intend to exploit. Maybe the boss is in a prickly mood because of the horns on his head. The boss is in a really prickly mood. It's all because of those lousy intruders that the DCMC concert got stopped. We DCMC fans ought to catch them ourselves and make them pay. Arr! Oh boy, what happened to the couple now? The man next to me I'm holding hands with while I was flailing around during the blackout. I think our lips touched. I... I wonder if it was on purpose. Do, do you suppose he is... likes me? Uh -huh. Flint and your lips touched. Oh, God. Yes, you fools. Hey, man. Oh, no. Just the same dialogue. Alright, let's take the elevator up. It's 
Seems to be a swift moving elevator. Gotta go up 100 floors. Uh, uh, 76 floors to be precise. Next stop, the 100th floor. Huh. Yes, please. Nice. This is the wonderful hippo pool. Here you can swim with the hippo launchers, gaze at the hippo launchers, and observe hippo launchers eating. You can even fight them. That's dangerous, though. Hippo launchers? This sounds incredibly unpleasant. Like something I don't necessarily want to do. But probably have to. Hippo launchers. Hippopotami that have been fancied up and equipped with powerful missiles. Incredibly popular, even among women and senior citizens. Improvements to create household pet versions are currently underway. This sounds... Extremely unpleasant. No, they're not aggressive. I guess I could just move around them. All right, I want to fight one. Oh, oh wow! I, I, it's not enough that I like. Oh god, it's not enough that I run into one. I have to like activate it. Interesting. Uh, if you could spook it, that'd be great. Weak against lightning and I get to sleep. Hmm. Does anyone know hypnosis? Ow. Oh, wait. Who needs hypnosis? I have a hypno pendulum. Well, it's been so long since there was an enemy that I could, like, hypnotize. Oh, God. Oh my god, that's so difficult. Ah, uh, it's... Ugh, I can't combo. I couldn't combo before, I still can't combo now. It's a bomb. It's a super bomb. Thanks. Hey, science man. What up? I want to do research so bad. I want to research more and more and more. If only I had research funding, I could improve the hippo launchers even more and more. Would you like to know how I'd improve them? Sure. I'd make it so hippo launchers can brush their teeth on their own, go to the bathroom at night before bed, and fetch the newspaper. You know, those kinds of improvements. I wonder what happens if I say no. Nice. Just hit that button, watch everyone get their health back. All these weird hippo launchers. Why? Because chimeras, that's why. It appears that you guys appear to be suspicious guys. I I'll beat you up. Go, get up my hippo launcher. What's up? So they will make they will make you fight one. That makes sense. Ugh. Oh, well, I can just keep putting it to sleep. It's like it has an even rhythm and then the rhythm goes insane. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. Smash it. Smash it to pieces. Ah, my hippo launcher. Curse you. You'll pay for this. Stupid heads. Oh, thank you. Oh, pardon me. No, excuse me, Mr. Hippo Launcher. No, I want I want to get the Prezi. No, mi Mr. Hippo Launcher, you leave me no choice. I'm going to punch you in the butt. Wait, that sound. That's uh that's Lord Passion's damaging sound effect. Don't know why I thought that. It just popped into my head. Slap it. Slap it hard. Get all that XP. Ultimate shoes! <gasps> Who's got the ultimate shoes? Oh, they popped right into his inventory. They knew where to go. Ultimate shoes. Shoes with unrivaled comfort. Well, his speed drops a little bit, but, you know. Small price to pay. They're good shoes, but they're not ultimate shoes. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, ah, oh, God, they're everywhere. 
How, how many of these damn things are there? Why so many? Oh, there is a pathway over here. Oh, I must have to go this way. I want to explore. I want to explore all the places first. Oh, it's just a guy. They have such cute butts. Don't you agree? Why, why are you staring at Hippo Launcher's butts? They got, they got launchers in there. They literally have booties like pow, as the saying goes. What's in the Prezi? Grilled chicken. Awesome. What's in this Prezi? Better than chicken. Life noodles. Better than chicken. You heard it here first. We bring you a breaking news alert. Some idiots have been seen pretending to be sea monkeys in the middle of a pond. <laughs> I'm talking about you guys getting all covered in mud so you can fight for your lives. It's all so ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, get out of the next elevator. I think we're gonna sit back and watch even more of you stupidity in action. Come on, don't give up. You're so close to the real 100th floor now. <laughs> <sighs> Am I actually gonna have to go through 100 floors? Don't do that to me. Don't make me go through a hundred floors of this nonsense. <laughs> Even among the most tight-knit of adventurers, elevator adventures are still embarrassing and awkward. Oh my, where are we today? Thank you, Frog. What? This appears to be a present, but it's unopenable, unusable, and untakeable. What? There's a centaur in here. How about some oxygen for old time's sake? Well, I can't say no to you, oxygen machine. What? It's oxygen. We need it to live. Hyper -oxygenated, oxygenated blood will help us fight better. Who, who are you, ladies? This is a gathering room for Master Porky's fans. Can you guys can you guys put your hands to your chest and say from the bottom of your heart, I love you, Master Porky? No. Then quit lurking around and get out of here. <laughs> My job is tickling Master Porky under his chins. Ugh. These are Master Porky's favorite double chocolate fried pork chips. Why can't we just let Master Porky take care of everything? Because he is evil. Your attention, please. We have a report of lost children. The detestable Lucas and his pals appear to be lost in Master Porky's fan room. <laughs> attention, Lucas and his friends. Attention, Lucas and his friends. Come to the real 100th floor immediately, if you dare. Huh. Oh, I hate that guy. Let me guess, we're on our way to the 100th floor. Yup! All right. Next time on Let's Play Mother 3, we continue our ascent of the Empire Porky building. If you liked what you saw, hit like. If you wanna continue that ascent, hit subscribe. And if you wanna talk about the power of music, Drop a comment. And if you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. And I can use that money to make more videos, streams, uh, to hire an artist, and, of course, pay my rent. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Good night, everyone.